it's really important that we're able to convert between fractions, decimals, and percent. So let's start with a fraction. So if I give you a fraction, you should be able to write that as a decimal and a percent. If I give you a decimal, you should be able to write that as a fraction or a percent. And if I give you a percent, you should be able to write that as a decimal and as a fraction. So we're going to look at how we can go and interchange between all three. Let's start with a fraction. So say we had the fraction 3 fifths. Let's get a different color pen here. So this is our fraction. So how do we get a percent? Well, here's what we know about percent. Percent means out of 100. That's what that means. It means out of 100 or divided by 100. Well, right now, my fraction is out of 5. 3 divided by 5. I want to make this a fraction out of 100. Well, if I want to go from 5 to 100, I have to multiply this by 20. Because 5 times 20 would be 100. So then, if I take 3 and multiply that by 20, I would get 60. So the, the fraction 3 fifths is identical or is equal to 60 out of 100. And 60 out of 100, of course, means 60%. So if you have a fraction and you want to make it a percent, all you need to do is convert the fraction to something out of 100. And whatever that number is in the numerator, 60 out of 100 in our example, 60 will be the percent. Now, the other thing that's, um, that we can do is we can go from a percent to a decimal. So if I have 60%, percent means out of 100. So my decimal right now is right here. This is 60 decimal percent. Dividing by 100 is going to move the decimal to the left two places. So 60 divided by 100 would be 0 0.60. So 60% is 0 0.60. So if I have a fraction and I want to convert that to a percent, that means I need to write the fraction over 100. So if I had the fraction mm, 3 over 20, and I want to convert that fraction to a percent, I need to make this as a fraction over 100. So in this case, I need to multiply this by 5. Multiply this by 5. 3 times 5 is 15. So 15% 15 would be the fraction converted to a percent. And if I have a percent, percent and I want to convert that to a decimal, so say I had 15%, Move the decimal place to the left two places. So right now the decimal's right there. I move it left two. The decimal will be right there. So that's 0 0.15 as a decimal. So when we when we move the decimal place to the left two places, what we're really doing is dividing by 100. And of course, that's what percent means. 15 divided by 100. Let's look at couple more examples here. So here's a fraction, 75 three hundredths. If I want to convert that to a percent, I need to make the fraction out of 100. So right now it's out of 300. So if I divide everything by 3, 300 divided by 3 is 100. That's great. So now I'll take 75 and I'll divide that by 3. 75 divided by 3 is 25. And so 25 out of 100 is 25%. And so now I have a percent, and I want to convert that to a decimal. So I'll move the decimal to the left two places. So that's 0 0.25 as a decimal. Now, sometimes, sometimes we'll get a question like this one here, 5 sevenths. And you're saying, OK, how can I make that out of 100? I don't really know what to multiply 7 by to give that to get that out of 100. 
Well, we could use a calculator. So we want to know what do we have to multiply 7 by to get 100. So let's go 100 divided by 7. That'll tell us what that number is. So when we go 100 divided by 7, it tells us we should multiply by 14.29. I'll just round that to two decimal places. So 14.29. And so now I will go that answer, 14.29 times 5. Whoops. And so I, in my numerator, in my top number, I'm going to get 71.43. So I multiplied this by 14.29. It's just with this number, I had to use a calculator to figure out uh, what that multiplying factor would need to be. So 5 sevenths is about the same thing as 71.43 out of 100. So 71.43 would be the percent. And to convert that to a decimal, I need to take my percent and move the decimal to the left two places, which is like dividing by 100. And I would get 0.7143 as a decimal. Well, what if we were given the decimal? So I've got three examples here. What if we're given the decimal and we have to write that as a fraction and as a percent? Well, writing it as a fraction not too difficult. We've got to figure out what place value we go here. So remember this first one here is the tenths. So the one is in the tenths position and the six is in the thousandths positions. So this means that as a fraction I have 16 oops sorry that's not the thousandths that's the hundredths. Let's try that again. So tenths, hundredths, if I had another decimal, decimal, that would be the thousands. So tenths, hundredths, so I have 16 hundredths. So as a decimal to a fraction, we just have to figure out what place value do the decimals go to, and then take that number and write it over that fraction. So this is 16 hundredths, because it goes to the hundredths position. Now what we have to always remember is that we got to write our fractions in lowest terms. So the 16 I can divide by 2 to get 8 and the 100 divided by 2 is 50. These are still even numbers so I can continue to divide by 2. Dividing the 8 by 2 is 4. Dividing by 50 by 2 is 25. So now here is my fraction in lowest terms. Now going to a percent, if I go back and take a look at this, to go from a decimal to a percent, what I need to do is multiply by 100, because percent is out of 100. So I'm going to take the decimal and move it to the right two places, and that would give me a fraction of 16 over 100. You can see we actually had 16 over 100 here. And remember, percent is always out of 100. So now I can say that would be 16%. Let's look at this example. So I got to write this one as a fraction. So this is 2 and I got 1 in the tenths and I got the 4 in the hundredths. So my fraction is going to go to a hundredths and my number is 214, 214. So I have 214 hundredths. And again, these are both even numbers, so I'll divide by 2. And I get 107 out of 50, which would be my fraction in lowest terms. And you can see we actually already have the percent here, because we have a fraction out of 100. So the percent would be 214 percent, or we could have taken our decimal and moved it to the right two places, and we would have got 214 percent. Now let's look at this last example here. So this is the tenths. This one would be the hundredths. This would be the thousandths. And this would be the ten thousandths. 
So if I'm going to write my fraction, that's 13 out of 10,000. Tenths, hundredths, thousandths, ten thousandths. So 13 out of 10,000 would be my fraction, and I can't reduce that, so that's done. Now, writing this as a percentage, here's my decimal here. So I'm going to multiply by 100, because percent is out of 100, and the decimal would now show up right here. So that's 0.13 out of 100, or decimal 13%. So even less than 1%. It's a very small number. So we've looked now at how to go from a decimal to a fraction. So let's make one up here. Let's go 6.3. So determine what place value the number goes to. So this number goes to the tenths. And then rewrite that number out of that fraction. So 63 was the number, and it's going to be out of tenths. And then the other thing we have to always remember is to reduce our fraction. In this case, I cannot reduce this fraction, so it is done. And to go from a decimal to a percent, so let's say we had 0.621. So there's a decimal. I need to write this as a percent. I'm going to move the decimal to the right two places, which is like multiplying by 100. So that's 62.1 because now I could say it's 62.1 out of 100, which is 62.1%. And now finally, let's see how if we were given some percentages that we could convert these to fractions and to decimals. And I think we've actually already done these even in those other questions that we've done. So given a percent, 62%, we know that a percent means out of 100, so as a fraction, whoops, as a fraction, this would be 62 out of 100. Percent means out of 100. So now we just need to simplify this fraction. So I'm going to divide everything by 2 because these are both even. And I would get 31 out of 50. So this would be the fraction in lowest terms, 31 fiftieths. And now we have to convert everything to a decimal. So we have learned, too, because we've done this in the other questions, that to go from a percent to a decimal, we move the decimal to the left two places. So this would be 0 0.62, because the decimal sits right here. Moving left two is 0.62. So 0 0.62 would be the same thing as 62%. Let's do this example here, 155%. We have to write that as a fraction. Percent always means out of 100, so we would have 155 out of 100. Reducing this fraction, we can divide everything by 5, because these numbers end in 0 and 5. So dividing the numerator by 5 gives me 31. 15 divided by 5 is 3. 5 divided by 5 is 1, so 31. And dividing uh, 100 by 5, we would get 20. So 31 out of 20 would be our fraction in lowest terms. And then again, converting a percent to a decimal, move the decimal to the left two places. So it would be right here now. 1.55 would be our decimal. So one of the things you should notice is that if the decimal is more than 1, then our percent is going to be more than 100. If the decimal is less than 1, like 0.62, then our percent will be less than 100. So any decimal more than 1, or 1 or more, is going to be 100% or greater. And again here, so percent to a fraction. So percent means out of 100, so I would write this 66.6 .6 out of 100. Now the problem with this is, is we never like to have decimals in a fraction. So see this, I got 16.6 out of 100. It's not acceptable, generally, to have decimals within a fraction. So what I would like to do is get rid of that. Now, if I multiply by 10, that's going to move the decimal to the right one place, and so now this would be 166. And if I multiply the top by 10, i got to multiply the bottom by 10. So now it's 100 times 10, which is 1,000. 
So basically what I did was I moved the decimal to the right one in the numerator, and I moved the decimal here to the right one by adding another zero to make a thousand. And so now my fraction has no decimals in it, but unfortunately it is not in lowest terms. So I can divide these both by two. This would give 84, sorry, 83. And dividing this by two would be 500. So 83 five hundredths is my fraction in lowest term. And as a decimal, always take it and move it to the left two places. So I would get 0 0.166 after I go left one, two. So to go from a percent to a fraction, let's do an example here. Let's say I had 12 and a half percent. I would take the percent and write the number over 100. So 12 and a half over 100. Because percent, that's all that means. Percent just means over 100, out of 100. So 12 and a half out of 100. But I got to make sure the fraction has no decimals in it. And, and this one does. So if I multiply the numerator by 10, that gives me 125, because the decimal would go to the right one. And multiplying the denominator by 10 would give me 1,000. So that's great. Now I have a fraction with no decimals, but I have to make sure that it's also reduced. So I can divide here everything by 5. That would give me 25 out of um, 200. So 25 out of 200, and I can still divide by 5. So 25 divided by 5 is 5, and 200 divided by 5 is 40 and I can still divide it by 5, and so I get 1 out of 8, and that would be in lowest terms. So very important that you know how to convert between decimals and fractions and percents, and here's kind of a little summary of, of the ways that we can go about doing that, but really what you need to do is practice, practice this lots and if you're given either the decimal or the percent or the fraction, you should be able to convert it to the other two forms.